The Auditor General's interim report, dated March 19, 2014, was handed over to the Ministry of Immigration and to the Office of the Prime Minister. The Auditor General, even before getting into the meat of the report, makes pointed mention that her team was pushed around when trying to get records. On page 1, she states that, quote, Mrs. Maria Marin has demonstrated blatant disrespect for my office, unquote. On page 2, she writes that, quote, The director, Mrs. Marin, has consistently found ways to evade requests made for the accessing of records, end quote. Director Marin is accused of not handing over vital documents when, quote, it was established from the onset that she had the requested records, end quote. To continue in that theme of dodge the ball and hide the candy, we turn to Minister of Immigration Godwin Hulse, prominently named in the report. In investigating the nationality certificate signed by Elvin Penner, the team requested the permanent residence application register and the file containing letters sent to Penner for his signature. The team reports on page 15 that, quote, We were told by the OIC, Mr. Gordon Wade, and his assistant, Ms. Adi Pacheco, that these records were with the director, Mrs. Maria Marin. It was later revealed by them, after checking with her, that Minister Hulse had them and that she would request the records from him. To date, we have not received those vital records that would have assisted us in our investigation. End quote. The team was also unable to get access to the oath of allegiance and swearing register since they were told that Minister Hulse had it. The report focuses on five persons whose documents were facilitated by Elvin Penner, Peter Pang, Mark Chin, Simon Truong, Jakob Sut and our old friend Won Hong Kim. It details massive irregularities in the processes used to facilitate these documents, from nationality applications to passport deliveries. None of these persons even remotely qualified for nationality. The same two recommenders, Martin Kahl and Fausto Augustin from Belmopan, signed for four of them. Three of them came in on the same United Airlines flight in 2013. Elvin Penner signed nationality certificates for all of them. All their files are conveniently missing. On page 8 of the 27-page report, the Auditor General states, quote, Minister Elvin Penner, the Director of Immigration and Nationality, Ms. Maria Marin, as well as Peter Pang, may have violated Section 22 of the Belizean Nationality Act, end quote. That assertion is made in all five instances. On page 10, the Auditor General writes, quote, We have to again point out that Minister Elvin Penner, the Director of Immigration and Nationality, Ms. Maria Marin, as well as Mark Chin, may have violated Section 22 of the Belize Nationality Act, end quote. On page 9, the Auditor General states that recommenders Martin Kahl and Fausto Augustin may have committed a prosecutable offense when they signed for the persons under scrutiny. Later, her tone gets stronger as she states on page 14 that Martin Kahl and Fausto Augustin committed a prosecutable offense when they signed forms for Simon Truong. On page 17, she again states that both Kahl and Augustin committed prosecutable offenses when they recommended persons they could not have known for the time stated. And on page 19, the Auditor General turns to the infamous Won Hong Kim documents. Elvin Penner signed as recommender along with Alfonso Cruz Jr. and the Auditor General states that both may have committed prosecutable offenses. We end today's segment by pointing out that the Auditor General is recommending charges for Elvin Penner, Director of Immigration Maria Marin, former UDP Mayor Alfonso Cruz Jr., and recommenders Martin Kahl and Fausto Augustin. She clearly outlines the sections of the law that were breached and provides the evidence to prove that they broke the law. None of those persons have been charged. On Friday, we'll take another look at the extensive report, which claims that even after the Won Hong Kim scandal, and even now, UDP ministers continue to go into the nationality section to facilitate documents for individuals. Tune in on Friday. Mike Rodon for News 5.